Despite all the gas, despite Mitch's unbuttoned shirt, Tottenham still ain't one shit. Finally, the video I've been chatting about on my socials all day is out. I want you to go, take a watch of it, and if you like it, stream it. Maybe even buy it, like go to Spotify. It would be nice, but I don't want to force anyone to do anything they don't want to do. No, I'm so buy it. I would like you to go into the, the description below and you can see the links. Are Arsenal fans upset because of the messenger or the message? And in this case, we're talking about Troy Deeney. Both. I think it's worse that it come from Deeney, no? Of course, Troy Deeney. Troy Deeney. Who do you think they're more upset with? Troy Deeney giving the message or the actual message itself? Uh, as Arsenal fans, I would say it's the messenger. Man don't really care what Troy Deeney says because his teeth are all bent up, so man don't give a <laughs> shit what he says. <laughs> <laughs> man don't care what you say, Troy Deeney. He took it to the roads. He said, I came on and I said to myself, which one of these three centre backs wants it? Mm -hmm. And it seemed like none of them. Big man, go to the ends and say that to three of them and them. Yeah. You're getting run out. I'm not saying you're ugly or you're buff. But you did say you're not the best player to look at. Um, <laughs> no, he did, he did, he did, he did. Troy Deeney said it got in the way and that's why he couldn't, you know, judge the, the challenge he made. So, I mean, he's not holding no punches, bro. He's going in on all of them. He got onto Bellerin. He said he comes on and just whacks players, treats it like UFC. No, he's right. Hey, bro. He's right, he's right. Arsenal have no stomach. They've got no bollocks, no nothing, man. But... we got no captain. Yes, yeah, Arsenal got nothing. They've just got a nice stadium. And some Mandem fans. I mm. think Watford have got Arsenal's number. They train at their old training ground. Mm. Oh, I'm sure they do. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think they've got Arsenal's number, man. So it's, he's correct and he's right to feel gassed. He's sort of been, he's decent, but he's butters. That's what, I, I think he's a dirty. I, did, I think there was a time where, you know when he was playing the championship and that? Yeah. No, there was a time where they were comparing him to Henri kind of thing when he was in the championship, innit? And then he come, he come, Premier League, he's done all right, scored bare pens. And then he just put on bare weight. And oh, Watford hell. come from behind. Awful, you got doggy. Cleverly, you let Cleverly turn up. I think we know who's better now out of Cleverly and Jack Wilshere. Because one didn't even come off the bench. The other grabbed the winner. We've had hey, our Teta. Turn the camera to my man for a minute, let me see him. You look kind of like Trey Deeney. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Trey Deeney, bro. Man don't look like Trey Deeney. Look, look at my teeth. Look at my teeth. Full set. Yeah, 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 yeah. What Trey Deeney said mm -hmm. about them being weak in the spine, correct? 100%, man. What he said about the part where he knows what they're going to do and all of that, I think he's a bit gassed because obviously they've beat Arsenal, I think it's three times in a row now. So I think he's gassed off of that. So he said after the game that his son hates him. But at least he's going to make a man of him because at the end of the day, as, as an Arsenal fan, you have to understand that the trials and tribulations that you face every single day, it's just a bit much. And by the time you come out of it, you're going to be a bloody Spartan, mate. Uh, I'm not so, going to lie, I beat my son if he says things like that. Bro. Shut up, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> we haven't let him. You ain't seen your son in years, man. What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't think he has. Yeah, man. There was a thing about that actually in the paper, yeah. I think. Troy Deeney Please. not seeing his child. That's why he put the phone away. I can't lie to you, I'm not cussing that guy. <laughs> Troy Deeney looks like he's on the roads right now. I'm not on it. I'd rather cuss my teeth, because my teeth, I look That's like I've been eating bricks. Hey, I don't care about Troy Deeney. Man, a fucking bad man, so whatever. Do you remember? You see Granite, Granite mm -hmm. Xhaka. First of all, the name, I, Granite, I don't even know. Yeah, Granite anyway. sounds bad, <laughs> isn't it? Um, do you remember when he first come? Paul was giving it. I like to Xhaka. Don't yeah, you remember? True, he was giving true. him the tune now. <laughs> Everything was mad. He was crazy. He scored a long range shot against us. A Shreema. big deflected long range shot. Um, and Paul was gassed. Look at him now. I think Xhaka is the worst buy this I'm year. so glad that you said that. He's the worst buy. What's happened today, by the way? Because you're not the normal specs. Usually, you know what I like, Xhaka? I think Xhaka is the best player we've ever bought. In fact, I think we've got the best squad in the league. And if we're going to win the league, where's that one gone? Oh, uh, these guys, bro. Just to let Cleverly get that in the extra time, you're standing there digging out a booger. It doesn't make no sense. And I was just like, I don't know what he was doing. Like, he was getting ready to break dance or something. He, just didn't, he was moving like he was going to go forward, but he just couldn't be bothered to go forward. You track back. That's just normal procedure as a centre midfield player. You, like, you don't stand seven yards off the box and watch the opposition run into the box and do their thing. The are they gonna, what are they going to get for Jack? He's still young. They're still, what, what did they pay for him? What, I, was, it, what, was it plus 30? Uh, it was plus 30. Mm. Exactly. Mm. If that's my point. So what are you going to get for him? Ooh. What are you, Who's going to buy Xhaka? Fuck Xhaka, man. Fuck off Xhaka, man. Yeah, Go back to Kosovo, bro. Fuck. Is he Kosovo? Yeah, he's from Kosovo. I've been in all them places. He's a fucking fuck waste of man. Man. And then he just stood there. And did you see um, Per Mertesacker as well when it went in? No, he kind of no. like the ball kind of hit his chest, it fell to someone else, and he just like, went and just like watched it happen. And then it went across the clever and he just banged it top ends. And he just looked. When we was on top, we had Petit, Vieira, then Mandic. Fam, 
all right, it's the strikers, the man have got to finish it off. But you see midfield? The engine room. You either yeah. lose or you win. End of story, guys. Yes. And just, I agree with that. Just, the, the, fam, you know what it is, yeah? When I was younger... Yeah, you see that midfield? It's weak. Seven days. Like, it's terrible. What do you think about Ozil? Is he a man for the, for the big moments? Nope. I think he's a man that is extremely talented, but... <sighs> now, I, I hate when I say... I don't know why I look like a fool when I say he hasn't got enough drive, right? Mm, mm. But he's playing at the top of world football, so mm. he, you've got to have drive to get there. But then that next level of drive, that next bit of dedication, mm. I don't think he's got. He's never been the man for the big moment. I've been telling that stupid, lanky, flipping bank card chess poet, yeah, to stop rating this guy. He just got big eyes and he can see everything. Cool, he can see a pass. But what has he done for us? Fam, like, you see what Kevin De Bruyne had done on the weekend. And it's just an it's like what Arsenal fans pretend that Ozil's like. But obviously we can all see, see that Ozil's not like that. And then you look at Ozil and he's getting opportunities and he's just passing it back to the opposition. He don't even want to be there, bro. He's, I think Mesut's a, he's a decent player. I don't think he's world class anymore. I think. Well, you said he come after and just lost that. Yeah, man, it's done. It's done, it's done. I'm going to say bitch made. All right, that's my conclusion. Ozil is, is bitch made. Who out of the filthy fellas is bitch made? Mitch. And we got Ozil, meant to be world class, 42.5 mil. What's he done? German, I see him go to Germany, do his thing. Kill it, kill then I see him on Instagram, hat backwards, leather jackets, and Bentleys, and big houses. Yeah. And he's he doing that for Arsenal, but everyone loves him. He's making Pedro. He's a product of his environment. He's gone from playing with some of the best players in the world to playing with Coughlin. This is why Rabinho shouldn't have come here. All them man should not have come here, cuz. Chris Ball. All that man shouldn't have come here because it's just some kick and rush thing, cuz. I like Jack, but um, and I think he could be the saviour, and I think this is the... But ain't that a problem? The story. Well, no, he's that good, though. Listen, he weren't playing too good. He had bad injuries, mm. but he's he he's good enough to be the saviour for Arsenal. This is... Let me... That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. You no, go. No, you, no, no, no. <laughs> brother, <laughs> brother, brother. Let me go you to the city, like. This is a joke. Go Jack on. Usa. You're there. Like, you've got the same trim as silver, and me. Yeah, 0 0.5. That's it. That's all I see, just trims. What about kick ball? Why are you not kicking ball? They just recycle saviors. Like one week is one man, then the next week is the next man. And they just, and the thing is, these men don't have to do anything. They don't even have to play football to be considered saviors. You got cock. You come in had like a good two weeks, and I will call him cock block. And I didn't even like, like he's an Arsenal player. In 2017, when Man City's midfield looks like fucking Hamley's as a ten-year-old, <laughs> you're telling me. You're taking me to the budget toy shop in fucking green <laughs> and giving me Jack Moosha and Cochrane. For the club, getting back into the top four shows them, okay, let's get back to there first. Let's get back to qualifying yeah. every single year. Mm -hmm. Then we build from there. I think if they don't do a top four again, the pressure to win the Europa is going to be mad for them. Man, like relax, man. You support Man City now anyway. They won 7-2. Yeah, we won 7-2, but still my previous team, they're pissing me off, man. No, seriously, I've been getting onto Arsenal, but all bounce aside, yeah. Arsenal, the stature of the club they are and how they've been playing, they should be aiming for six. Top seven and a League Cup. And I'm happy because I've now accepted... Top seven and a League Cup. I've accepted, that's what we are. <laughs> We're like Mooners, bro. <laughs> Back in the day. Bro, they've lost three matches. It's terrible. They've but lost. in this day and age in football, which mm. is shit about the football, mm. you can do that and still win the league. Yeah, it's true. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm. I can see City losing... A few more. Yep. Well, Although few. They're, they're looking incredible right now. Mm -mm. I can see them losing. Dan, I can't lie. I told Dan... I told him, like I said, Chelsea are dead to me. They're dead. They're dead. Like, no African. No African. I'll like, tell you this now. Has blonde hair. Crystal Palace lost seven games in a row. Mm -hmm. Hadn't even scored a goal. Then the champions, like Dan always likes to brag about, the champions go over to Selhurst Park and lose 2-1. Can you put the camera on him, please? Bro, listen, look. You see Chelsea, yeah? Obviously, I love Chelsea to the death, but that's not... It's not good enough, bro. It's not good it's, enough. It's and not lighting up no more. Not, it's not lighting up. It's gone, <laughs> bro. It's gone. The batteries don't work no more. <laughs> so I was driving home to the talk sport, and I just heard this voice, bro, and I had like, yeah, you know, like, obviously, we play really well, and, uh... Yeah, bro, I was like, who is this? I ain't heard Zaha speak <laughs> still. Is that how he speaks? Scored a goal. What? Scored a goal in my Yeezys. Is that what he sounds like? Fam. What the fuck is that? You I let Zaha come back. Why did you sound like that? I thought my voice was bad. His voice is so That is amazing. His balls ain't dropped, fam. Zaha can't be much older than seven, judging by the way he talks. He's nervous all the time, but he's a big wedge black, bro. I don't get it. Why? I don't know what's 
All right. No, I'm uncomfortable. Stop. Yeah. No, nah, man. Yeah, man. It was a decent game. You know, I scored a few goals and that. See, it was weird. It was weird. I've heard him speak here. And I can see why he's never featured on Crypton Corner's album. Chelsea got manhandled. And yeah. Dan, you're not going to be able to explain your way out of that this week. I'm sorry. It's, there's nothing you can say that's going to convince. I don't even want you to convince me. I don't even want you to come to the studio. Dan thinks he's bad. He took his chest out on a few episodes. <laughs> showed man his tattoo and that. You know what I mean? He thinks he's bad, trying to come like uh, Conor McGregor. Is it what's his name? Conor, Conor McGregor. McGregor with a chest tat. I don't know what that was, trying to flex your chest. But Kalashnikov said it in it. We tech wire some guys who flex their chest. So. <laughs> e I O. But you won't see three points though. E I O. But you won't see three points though. Ross, the Chelsea remix. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've come here and I don't even know why I've come here. I've got nothing to say. That's I've, what I'm all just, these guys you know, it's just, just, no point me even coming on to that. Yeah, there was no point. There's no point me being here, bro. I'm, do you know what is? Man's got like a couple of music things going on. <laughs> and that's what man's gonna do. Your defensive midfielder is your linchpin, but it shows you how important defensive midfielders are. No, just shows Defenders you. are shit. That's why Matic has gone to United, and we're doing better in it. Yeah. You're doing so much mm, better. Mm, if the Africans on twenty to forty grand a week. Yeah. And you buy them, you give them over the hundreds, they're not going to be the same. I'm pretty sure when they got beaten by City, they had Kante. So I feel like it's more they had Matic and Matic. And when they got beat by Burnley, they had Kante. Yeah, so I would say it's more Matic. It's not what Kante does. Has he played Kante it? sniffs the ball as it's being played and he intercepts it, it's gone, it's his. Kante passes himself. Can't get that. I respect yeah. him. I tell you why we're acting brand new about Jose Mourinho parking the bus away at Liverpool. Actually, I don't really know. Because you know why, yeah? He's done it like nearly everywhere he's gone. I'd go there looking to win, put the fear in Liverpool. Mm. But typical Jose Mourinho plays it safe and just says, look, come on, Coutinho's back. I mean, no Mane. How you not, like, you should be doing bits, mm. man. I feel like United, a lot of United fans have created this false past. This, this false, like, abstract idea of the type of football that Alex Ferguson used to play. Like we were Barcelona or, or the Galacticos. Why are they upset, though? Like, think about it. Upset, Their defence was Damian, Valencia, Smalling and Jones. The club is chatting shit about you could never manage Liverpool with tactics like that. You manage Liverpool with no tactics at all. What I like about Klopp is I, I can watch Liverpool for 90 minutes. I can't, I can't watch United for 90 no, minutes. No, 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 you're right. If I'm Liverpool, what do you, they had like two clear-cut chances in the whole game when you had most of the possession. Like, you actually played awful as well. It was an awful game. Yeah. Both teams played awfully. And then the day I could say about United is that our back four were disciplined. That's what I can say about and Jose Mourinho oh, yeah, came out with a plan yeah, and he yeah. done his plan. Klopp came, he didn't know what he wanted. What he wanted. You're better off just starting a fucking Coutinho middle of the park, yeah. play storage or fucking yeah. Chamberlain in the wings or whatever and just go for it. Is Lukaku that breader? I ain't no, seen man. none of that from, from when Man United bought him before then when he was at Everton. He was the clumsiest player ever and now he's meant to be world class. No, nah, no, no, you, no, can't, no. you can't do that to me. He kicks you while you're down. So, do you know what he is? He's a man that waits for one of the boys to bang someone in the face. See, down in that club. You know then he runs I and does a couple kicks. I thought you were better. No, that's what the captain does. See, I'm saying. I but see, Harry Kane? Ed, Harry no, Kane's no, no, setting no. pace. United have been winning 4 0 by accident for the last few weeks. So, like, everyone's expecting a 4 0 and playing shit forever. But and sometimes said, you play shit and you get 0 0, innit? Like, whether he scores against big clubs or not this season, when his goal tally at the end of the season says 35 or more, mm -hmm. Not one Manchester United fan is going to give a flying fuck. Okay. Don't get me wrong, he's big, he's from Congo, he's strong, yeah, he, he scores a few goals. He's nowhere near world class, he's not better than Harry Kane, he can't play in big games and he gives the ball. He, like, he hasn't got a football brain. No. So when it says 35 plus, mm. but you're in third place or fourth place. Nah, and, then they'll give a shit. And then he's missed chance against Liverpool, Liverpool which has already happened. Mm. He misses the chance against Chelsea mm. or City away mm -hmm. and City win or whatever. You get a nil nil draw again mm -hmm. or a draw. Then, then we'll care. Well, that's what could happen. As I've grown up watching football, I've always known that if the striker is starved of balls and um, like delivery, he's not really going to get much in the ball. If you don't have a chance the whole game and then all of a sudden you get your first chance, you score, that's a great striker. Same yeah. way with goalkeepers. You don't have nothing to do all game, 90th minute, boom, mad, mad save. Yeah. The hair had nothing to do. He had that one yeah. save. He done it. Great he's goalkeeper. Best he's the best player. Come on, by far.